I'm 20 years older than you and look at how silky smooth my skin is. Mr. Todd, what kind of idiot are you? What you think the bullets float up in the air like astronauts in space? Where do you think the bullets are going? Come on. Raise your right hand for me. Do you solemnly swear or affirm any testimony you give in this matter will be true? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, Mr. Kamani, um, on the case for reckless conduct, discharging a firearm, uh, this another firearms discharge on count three, theft by receiving uh, stolen merchandise, count four, and carrying a, a weapon concealed, count five, um, what is your client plea to the offenses? Your Honor, to counts <coughs> one, two, and three, he's going to plead no law. Okay. Count four will be no pros. All right. And no law to count five. Okay. And then for case 2023CR, uh, I mean, for Mr. Todd, um, he has battery family violence count one, battery count two, simple battery family violence count three, and simple battery count four. How, do you, how does your client plea? Guilty to count one. And counts two, three, and four will merge. All right. Factual basis and recommendation for the case 2022-CR-06716. Yes, Your Honor. On um, May 23rd of 2021, uh, while an officer was on patrol of Court, uh, Jonesboro, Georgia, where the incident did occur in Clayton County, the officer observed who was later identified as Mr. Uh, Roderick Todd um, and a second individual. Uh, the officer observed Mr. Uh, Todd uh, firing a handgun in the air um, and then observed both of the parties walk across the street to Parkway. Um, the officers made contact with uh, both subjects um, and um, determined that the uh, defendant had the had in his possession a uh, black uh, Walker 9mm serial number B as in boy A as in Apple uh, 0153 uh, after uh, checking uh, the gun it was determined uh, that the gun was stolen um, out of uh, Alabama and then the officer uh, then took uh, the individuals into custody. Um, the state is recommending uh, for count one, 12 months of probation for uh, count two, uh, $300 fine, 40 hours of community service, uh, count three, uh, 12 month probation is concurrent with count one. Um, for count four, the state is moving to no process. Uh, for count five, uh, 12 months uh, probation, uh, additionally, um, the defendant must forfeit the weapon. Uh, the nine millimeter uh, serial number B is in boy is an apple zero one five three. Where's the firearm safety class? And a firearm safety class, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Todd, how old are you, sir? 30 years old. Mr. Todd, what kind of idiot are you? What you think, the bullets float up in the air like astronauts in space? You don't think they come down? I just read an article yesterday where a single mama of two children was killed because somebody shot up in the air. They wasn't shooting at nobody. They shot up in the air. The bullet came down. Guess who it hit? A single mama on her way to get food for her husband and her I mean, she wasn't a single mom. Actually, she's married. Going on her way to get food for her um, family, for her husband and her children. So two children now not have no mama because some fool shot up in the air. Where do you think the bullets are going? I was, I was intoxicated, ma'am, and I wasn't just thinking completely. So straight. you drinking and handling a gun? I was just trying to test it. Okay, out sure so let's be clear, real, real clear. Now, uh, part of this is going to be he is not to have or possess any firearm during the course of this probation. And we're gonna run um, uh, 12, the one, uh, three consecutive to one. So for the next 24 months, no firearms. You understand? Because yeah. if you're stupid enough to have a firearm and mix alcohol with it, that's, you just ain't got good sense at all. You're just trying to kill somebody. 
for the next 24 mm -hmm. months, I want the I want Clayton County to be safe from you. Yes, ma'am. What you do for a living? Uh, I work with my family business. Okay, that could mean anything: drugs, um, gun running. Mm -hmm. I mean, lawn service. What is it? FOM management. My parents. We got a business. We run out properties. Okay, so I, I'm a little familiar with that because that's my family business too. So you running around, your parents working hard, building, getting properties, acquiring properties, managing properties, working on properties, but you don't put yourself in the business because they're getting older. You ain't doing none of that. Now you running around drinking and shooting guns in the air because you don't have a bit more sense. A business person does not do that. So that tells me that your family, this is your family that did all this building and acquiring. And now since they're getting older, you're trying to insert yourself into that, but you don't have a business mind. You ever paid quarterly taxes? Okay, so yeah, you don't know nothing about that. So no, you is unemployed, except for when your family asks you to do something for the business. Did I interpret that right? Yes, ma'am. Let's go on to the next case. Case 2023CR01705. I've been doing this for seven years, and even before that, I had common sense. For real? Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. On January 2nd, 2022, an officer was dispatched to seven. Um, and that is in Riverdale, Georgia, where the incident occurred in Clayton County in reference to a domestic disturbance. Upon the officer's arrival, he made contact uh, with Ms. who is the victim. She advised that the defendant, Mr. Todd, uh, who was her boyfriend, um, had gone to visit um, another relative. And during that time, they got into an, a verbal altercation. Um, and the defendant uh, told uh, the victim to leave the residence um, as she packed her belongings and left. The defendant followed her out and uh, told her to come back. When she came back, uh, he began choking her with both of his hands. Um, she advised that she did not lose consciousness um, and she was trying to separate herself from Mr. Davis um, and uh, excuse me, Mr. Todd. And uh, then he began to strike her in the face with a closed fist. <laughs> Um, again, uh, he pulled, uh, pulled her in to attempt to hug her, um, and then bit her on her upper back. Um, the officer did observe the bite marks, um, on the back of the victim. Um, and Mr. Uh, Todd was taken into custody. Um, the state is recommending, uh, 12 months to serve 30 days. Uh, Mr. Todd has been in custody uh, since January 20th of 2023. Uh, 12 months to serve, 30 days credit for the time served. The balance to be uh, probated. Uh, family violent intervention program, a $300 fine. Uh, no contact uh, with the victim, Your Honor. Counts two, three, and four will merge. Mm -hmm. Um, so back to count to the case ending in 06716. So, sir, I'm going to sentence you to 12 on count one, 12 months uh, probation, count two, $300 fine, 40 hours of community service and 12 months probation to run concurrent with count one. 12 on count three is 12 months probation to run consecutive to run consecutive to run consecutive to count one. On count five is 12 months probation, forfeit the firearms and not have any firearms during the course of your sentence um, for the entire 12, uh, 12 months of count one and uh, count two and count five. And also for the entire 12 months of count three, you'll have no firearms in your possession. Um, any firearm possession, um, whether it's yours or belongs to somebody else, will result in um, a revocation of your um, sentence, um, a, a revocation of your uh, probated sentence. Um, <clears throat> on count, uh, on the case ending in 01705, 12 months to serve 30 days, um, 
credit since credit for time served, the balance will be probated for you to take a family violence intervention program course to pay a fine in the amount of three hundred dollars. That's going to be four hundred and forty four dollars and to have no contact. With if you have contact with. Then you will risk being um, sentenced to uh, jail time for the remainder of the 12 month sentence. You'll also risk being um, charged with additional misdemeanors and with um, possibly with felonies. Now, let's talk turkey, Mr. Todd. You are a 30 year old unemployed man um, who's going around um, wreaking havoc and uh, mayhem. Is your problem drinking? You got a drug problem or alcohol problem? Tell me. Okay. So also you'll attend um, two AA meetings per week um, as part of your sentence on the case ending in 01705. All right. And you'll show proof of having attended those two AA meetings per week. We clear? This man for the entire 12 months? Yes, sir. Mr. Um, Mr. Todd, you're 30 years old. If you don't get your life together now when you got this opportunity, um, you're never going to get your life together. Yes, ma'am. I'm 20 years older than you, and look at how silky smooth my skin is. You're 30 years old, and life has been hard. You look in it. Get yourself yes, together, sir. I mean, it's not it's not a game. You you could have easily killed yourself, the your partner who was running with you like a fool. You shooting up in the air, both y'all drunk. Or you could have killed somebody else because you're making horrible decisions. You biting people. Come on. Who does that? The, you almost choked your way into a felony. Had she said she was unable to breathe or lost consciousness, you would be in felony court right now. Not before me. Yes, ma'am. I mean, get yourself together, sir. Why waste your life? And, uh, and let me tell you, Please, please, please don't fail to do my conditions because you will be back before me. And if you're not doing what I say for you to do on the outside, then there's no reason for you to be on the outside. You hear me? Yes, Every sheriff who sat in that seat has assured me they got plenty of room in the jail. And I suspect this one will too. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Anything else on behalf of Mr. Todd before I put him in a breakout room with the um, Mr. Carmichael? No, Your Honor. 